Phone calls to our local suicide and crisis prevention centers are up 10% in the last year. And beginning next year, it will be easier than ever to get in touch with someone who can help. That is why lawmakers want to provide even more funding and better technology to those answering those calls. KXAN's Alex Capriello spoke to Texas Senator John Cornyn about the plans he wants to roll out in the new year. I really do it in memory of my husband. I love him so much, he was my soulmate. Five years ago, Cassania's husband unexpectedly died. Immediately following the shock, she began contemplating suicide. I knew that I would not make it through the year or, or without, without calling someone. I need that help so desperately. A thoughtful, compassionate voice on the other end of a helpline guided her to where she is today. It put me back in a place of calmness where I could actually try to deal with myself. But those voices are overworked and overwhelmed. The Integral Care Call Center in Travis County is responsible for responding to crises in 73 Texas counties and it receives more than 7,000 calls per month. Senator Cornyn's new bill would triple the amount of funding currently going to the four mental health service centers in the state. We've learned a lot from our mistakes in terms of our failure to deal with uh, people experiencing mental health crises. And of course, this affects every single family in Texas and across America. That means more call takers, telephones, and improved technology to expedite resources. While someone experiencing a crisis may initially end up here, there's a continual need to expand mental health services beyond the call center. The state also has plans to improve its ability to respond face-to-face -face with a caller and provide ongoing therapies to those who need it. That's something Cassania still receives half a decade after her initial call for help. They really do care. They really do support you. They really have a wide variety of resources that they provide to you. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. The filing of this federal bill falls in line with September's Suicide Prevention Awareness Month and also the 2022 rollout of 988, which is similar to 911. It's a three-digit number people can call if they're contemplating suicide or are undergoing a mental health crisis. 988 will go live to the entire nation beginning July of 2022.